evening and welcome to the final Hoops Friday night of the high school basketball season. Again, alongside John Rawlings, I'm Jason Geyser, and we begin tonight with regional hardware and spots that stay on the line for the boys in Division 4. The poll champs from Lincoln View are trying to make it to the state tournament for the first time in 19 years. Staying in their way, Mansfield St. Peter's, the Spartans going for their first state appearance in 26 years. So, which team's drought will end? The answer is in this week's Spotlight Game. Hoops Friday Night Spotlight Game, presented by Steve Myers Service in Crydersville. Toro, count on it. Lincoln View's first game at the Stroh Center was a defensive battle. The Lancers scoring only 36 points. Tonight, let's see if their offense can carry them to Columbus. Lincoln View. In the beginning, you saw him introduce. It was Josh Leiter wasting no time. The 5'10 inch senior strikes first. Lincoln View starts on a 7 0 run. Lancers in the post. Chandler Adams with a touch shot. Lancers lead 11 6. Moments later, going to the big man again. Adams with the hoop and the harm. Lincoln View building their lead 15 6. Into the second, watch this ball movement. Great passing with the neat finish. Trevor Neat, that is. Smooth stroke puts the Lancers ahead 22 9. Bullying the Spartans in the paint, so why not try from outside? Hayden Ludwig from downtown. Lancers lead 27 to 14. Lincoln View ahead by as many as 19 in the second. Shooting cools off in the third, but they heat up in winning time. Josh Leiter using the pump fake. Banks open in Bowling Green at this hour. Lancers ahead 54 to 45, and they never gave up the lead. Leiter to Derek Utzi, finishing at the other end. Lincoln View wins 71 to 51. It feels amazing, you know, it's uh, basically a dream come true, you know. Every, all the time put in in off season and during season, practicing so hard, it, it gets to this moment to go to state. It's indescribable. I mean, we've been wanting, this is what we dreamed them since we were second graders playing this team. And we knew if we kept working on and off the court that our dreams had a chance of coming true, and now they are. Now we have a chance to play in the semifinals of state. Words can't describe how great this is, you know, for our community, for me, for the players. You know, it's unbelievable. You know, it's like something as a coach and a player, you always have goals to achieve this and to finally accomplish it. It's awesome. So here are the state semifinals in Division 4. You see the all-local Final Four showdown. Jackson Center against Lincoln View on Friday at 2 p.m. The early game pits the Wellington School against Willoughby Cornerstone Christian. We need to take a break here on Hoops Friday night. When we come back, we set the stage for tomorrow's Boys Regionals Finals. Hear from the state hopefuls from Lima Senior, LCC, and Ottawa Glendorf after this quick timeout. In Division 3, LCC tomorrow afternoon plays Ottawa Hills with a third straight trip to state on the line. This postseason, the T-Birds average margin of victory is by an impressive 38 points. Their big wins during their tourney run are fueling the T-Birds, who remain focused with a killer instinct. We keep working. We're never satisfied with what we're doing unless we're winning the state championship, which is what we plan to do. I know our guys continue to you know, press each and every possession. You know, they, they understand the, the importance of, of going out there and just playing together, but also most importantly, you know, living in the moment because you know, nothing's guaranteed next week. And they know that the opportunity to get to Columbus you know, starts on Saturday night. Tomorrow evening, Ottawa Glendorf meets Bay Village Bay in the Division II Regional Finals. It's their first unranked opponent since sectionals. OG's road to Columbus has been far from easy. First, the Titans had to get past second-ranked Upper Sandusky in the district semis. Up next, the seventh-ranked Defiance Bulldogs for the district title. Then last night, OG beat sixth-ranked Lexington for a trip to the Elite Eight. The Titans are now one win away from making their third trip to the shot in five years, and they do not mind flying under the radar. It's just a great feeling going in game, knowing that you're probably the underdog in each one, but just going out and fighting is the best feeling once you get the W at the end. We're playing another game, and that's what we talk to our guys. They just love being around one another and playing the game, and to, to be able to play for a regional championship is something special. Well, highlights from all those games tomorrow. We're set for our second and final break here on Hoops Friday night. We're stepping up to the college game when we return. Highlights from the Buckeyes, the Big Ten Tournament, and more next. The Big Ten Tournament quarterfinals are today in Indianapolis. Ohio State draws a Michigan State squad that's beaten them twice by double digits in the last 17 days. Izzo meets Mata once again at Banker's Life Fieldhouse. First half, Buckeyes down 10. Mickey Mitchell floats it up and in. It's a seven-point game at the half, and while these teams are in the same conference, they aren't in the same league this year. Sparty scores the first eight of the second half, 19 points, nine rebounds, eight assists for Denzel Valentine. MSU wins 81-54. 
Another Big Ten quarterfinal today. My alma mater, Purdue, squaring up against Illinois. First half, Dakota Mathias from long range. The Elida grad gives the Boilers an 18-11 lead. And just 43 seconds later, from the other side, 11 points, 4 assists for Mathias. Purdue wins a laugher, 89-58. They'll play my team, Michigan, who upset top-seeded Indiana in tomorrow's semifinals at 1 p.m. The Atlantic 10 tournament is in Brooklyn. Top-seeded Dayton meets 9-seeded Richmond in the quarters. Second half, all flyers off a turnover. They're running, and Charles Cook is finishing. Dayton grabs a 20-point lead, and in the final tick, St. Hindergrad Ryan Mikesell closes things out with the block. Two free throws, two rebounds, and that swap for the freshman. Dayton wins 69-54. Flyers meet four-seed St. Joseph's in tomorrow's semis. American Athletic Conference quarter, Cincinnati and UConn. You know it's good when we pick it up in triple overtime. Tied at 85s, off a miss, out to Kevin Johnson. The three ball with .8 seconds left. Since he's got it one, right? Not so fast. Jalen Adams, the three-quarter court heave. Look at it go. Bingo. The Huskies course a fourth overtime and ride that momentum to a 104-97 win over UC. The Division II Wrestling Nationals get underway today. Finley's Nick Gable will grapple in tomorrow's semifinals of the 149-pound weight class. He picks up a pair of wins. 157 pounds. Teammate Joey White goes 1-2 and two on the day, ending his stay. Same goes for 165-pounder Alonzo Turner bowing out via pinfall in his second Conti match. It's also day one of the D2 track and field meet. Euler Lydia Guajan ties for sixth in the women's high jump. The Division Three meet is underway as well. Bluffton University Junior and Kenton Product to Real Webb take sixth in the pole vault. Thanks for joining us.